when the baby has an exposure to asphyxial insult uh, it goes through these sequences you can review my uh, video in the nrp uh, pro i mean playlist on primary and secondary apnea so we have uh, initial response when the asphyxial stimulus starts here rapid breathing then there is cessation of breathing called primary apnea most of the babies who are born bluish and not breathing at birth are coming in primary apnea they respond to stimulation so while we are drying and stimulating the babies may start moving if they are still not breathing they do respond to ippv quickly the heart rate is maintained in the initial stage of primary apnea but then it starts uh, dropping later on after the primary apnea the baby may start irregular gasping as the uh, brain stem centers start taking over so uh, during this stage if the baby is born and is uh, kept with the airway open they may start responding as well and if there is no uh, response during this time the asphyxial stimulus persists there is a secondary apnea which is the terminal apnea if you don't intervene here the baby will die so the heart rate as the hypoxia persists starts dropping and uh, the blood pressure continues to drop as well in these stages the longer the secondary apnea continues the lower the heart beat so when the blood pressure is dropping this is the reason the baby with secondary apnea comes out pale because the perfusion to the body the skin and the brain is affected so the baby is hypotonic and pale so if you have a pale floppy baby it indicates secondary apnea if you have not called for help this is a good time to call